our world will one day come to an end. That much is universally agreed upon. However, the way in which it will end is fiercely debated between different religions and mythologies. In this video, let's take a look at how the world will come to an end in Norse mythology. Ragnarok, which literally means death of the gods or fate of the gods, is the final culmination of the story of the world, which started with Ymir, the primordial giant, and Adhulma, the primordial cow, and will end with a series of apocalyptic events that will result in the end of the world as we know it. Exactly when Ragnarok will happen is unknown. However, we do know that it will be preceded by certain events. First, a long and harsh winter that will last as long as three normal winters will begin. This is called Fimble Winter. Snow will constantly fall on the lands, animals and trees will begin to die out, and the resources humans need to survive will begin to run out. Things will get so dire that brother will fight brother and father will fight son for the very few resources that remain. Then the wolves Skull and Hati, who have been hunting the sun and moon respectively since the beginning of time, will finally catch their prey and eat them. This will send the world into darkness, with even the stars disappearing from sight. Then three roosters, namely a red rooster, a soot red rooster, and a golden rooster will warn the giants, the dead, and the gods that Ragnarok is about to begin. The trickster god Loki and his son, the giant wolf Fenrir, will then be freed from the chains that kept them prisoners for so long, and will join Hel and her army of the dead. The world serpent, or Jormungandr, will rise from the depths of the world ocean and create catastrophic waves that will flood great areas of land. The waves will knock the ship Naglfar loose from its mooring. Loki, Hel, and the dead will then set sail on Naglfar a boat made entirely from the nails of the dead to Midgard or Earth. Fenrir will then run across Earth with his mouth wide open and swallow everything in his path, while Jormungandr will spit venom across Earth, poisoning everything around him. The fire giants will emerge from the cracks in the sky, and their leader, the fire giant Sir, will be wielding a sword brighter than the sun. Heimdall will then play a specific tone on the Galarhorn, which will signal the beginning of Ragnarok. The gods will then go to battle. The final battle between the armies of the gods and the armies of the giants will take place on the battlefield of Vigrid on Midgard. The final battle of Ragnarok will lead to the death of many gods. Odin and his warriors, known as the Einherjar, will fight against Fenrir, who will eat Odin. Fenrir will then be slain by Odin's son Vidar. The god Tyr will fight Hel's wolf, also known as Garm, and they will both slay each other. The thunder god Thor and Jormungandr are fated to fight each other to the death. Thor will kill Jormungandr, but not before being poisoned by him. Thor is prophesied to then take nine steps and die. The goddess Freya and the fire giant Surt are also fated to fight each other and slay each other. After all the battles that need to be fought are fought, and all the gods that are prophesied to be slain are slain, the world will sink underwater. From the remains of the old world, a new world will emerge, which will be heralded by the few surviving gods such as Vidar, Vali, Baldr, Modi, Magni, and Hodor. The world will then be repopulated by the last man and woman on earth, who will be known as Lif and Lifthrasir.